Show me. Let's see if my spelling goes right. Curious. You know how to spell curious, don't you? It's right there. Curious George. Curious George Tail is actually the second most common one. Oh my gosh, he doesn't! He yep. doesn't have a tail! Curious George. He's, He's not, never had a tail. Somebody mutilated him! How did that happen? <laughs> because Curious George is technically not a monkey. What is he? You know what he was based off of? A child? A chimpanzee. A chimpanzee. I see. Okay. And chimpanzees don't have tails. Nope. But they Because they're apes. Yes. Okay, what's the next you one? damn dirty ape. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. How do you spell it? Um, C-H-I... I don't know. I'm horrible at spelling. So, this one's one of miss spelling Wait, completely. Wait, C-H-I-C-F-E... Leafly. I don't know. I'm horrible so, at spelling. Please don't judge me. A lot of people thought I have, it was... I have a learning disability. C-H-I-C. There's nothing wrong with me. Dash. F-I-L. Dash A. So there's there's no dash? There are dashes. Oh, okay. So there are dashes. I don't remember there being dashes. Other people thought it was C-H-I-K. Dash F-I-L. Dash A. Oh, I thought it was with a C. Is it with a C? It is C H I C K. Okay. Chick. Chick. Phil. A. Phil. Phil. F I L. Who's, who's Phil? A. Who's Phil? <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> um, I remember Phil. as a kid. Phil gets all the chicks. As, uh, chick. C H I C K. Mm -hmm. F A. L A Y. Okay. F A L A Y. See, this would work so much better if I actually knew how to spell. Uh, C-3PO. Yes. Is he all golden colored? C-3PO. Is his whole body all gold or could that copper color? Well, it depends. Is this the... This is the original trilogy. The original One, trilogy. Luke Skywalker. No, he doesn't. Yes. His arm. He lost his arm, didn't he? And he's got a, a red arm, doesn't he? That's the new trilogy. Okay, I the thought, old no, trilogy. you're talking about the one with Luke Skywalker. Yes. He has a different colored arm, doesn't he? No. No. Different leg. Different leg. One leg is silver. Okay. I'll show you. Yes, show me, because apparently I'm ignorant, and I don't know things. I just feel like an idiot. C-3PO. Well, do, um, it depends on... See that one right there? Oh, yeah, he has a silver leg. He has one silver leg. When did he get... Oh, the red arm. When did he get the red arm? Oh, that's the new one. Yeah, okay. that's the new trilogy. Okay. But he's always had one silver leg. Okay. And when did he lose that? Do we know? Uh, it that was, was in, in the, the new trilogy. The new trilogy, the, wasn't it? Not the newest, but Phantom the, Menace. Okay. And on. Yeah. This okay. one, he lost it. Okie doke. Okay, what's the next one? All right. Mr. Rogers song. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I can't remember that. It's a beautiful day. In the neighborhood? Nope, but a lot of people think it's in the neighborhood. What it's is... In is, this neighborhood. In this neighborhood, okay. But these... these That one could be close. These could all be examples of just people mishearing it and it getting so popular, the misheard. Like, for well, what instance... What about the site? Like, you know, for instance, my... My dad has a best friend, and he has he's not from this country, so he has a very interesting first name. And my dad didn't find out until after, like, ten years of being best friends with this guy that he was pronouncing his name wrong. And he just never corrected him. And he's like, why did you correct me? And he's like, oh, you know, like, hmm. it's fine, you, you were happy with it, and he just didn't want to correct him. Didn't want to correct him at yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Kit Kat bar. Yes. Does it have a hyphen in between Kit Kat? Yes. No. No. No, it doesn't. A I lot have, of people think it does. I have it. Wait, I have a Kit Kat bar. You don't have to. You don't have to look it up. Wait. Ow. Ow. What? No, there's no hyphen. Nope. No hyphen at all. There is. There's no gap either. But Kit and Cat are both capitalized. Correct. I'm not looking. Hello. Call me 
Sweet tits. Okay, next one. Uh, I'm skipping that one because what is it? You weren't well, or you weren't. Well, I want to know what it is. That. Now I'm curious. Uh, Simbad, the actor. Yes. You know Simbad. Yes. Did he ever star in a movie in the '90s where he was a genie? No. Exactly. <laughs> no, he didn't. Okay. But I'm one of these people that that are like that. A lot of us swear. What, what year he was were you in a born? Movie. 1990. Okay, so you. And a movie you're, that he was, that we think. You're four that he years. Was, four years older than me. Yeah. Okay. Was around 95, 96. Okay, so that was that was I was I was like one or two. I was five, six. Okay. So, we swear that there was a movie that he was in that he played a genie. Mm-hmm. Now, Shaquille O'Neal, he played a genie. Yeah, I remember movie. that. And we all know, yes, Shaquille O'Neal played a genie in a movie, but we swear that Sinbad did. Mm-hmm. The actor, Sinbad. That's the thing, though. None of us can tell you what the title of that movie was. <laughs> well, I guess you can, we know, you can check his IMDb, can't you? Yeah. Let me check his we IMDb. Did. I did. I checked his IMDb. There is no recollection of him being... Wait, how do you spell his name? S-I-M. Okay. B-A-D. B-A-D. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty easy. Simbad Beyond the... Is that... No. Simbad. He's an actor. Oh no, actor. Okay. Um. Keep going. Is that him? No, that's not him. Nope. DJ Simbad. Nope. Um. That's okay. I don't. This guy. Here. That's Simba. Simba. Simbad. No. Whatever. Well, I'll I'll just trust you. He's not popular enough on IMDb to actually be found. <laughs> Which is weird. He did, like, a lot of good movies. Yeah. A lot of funny movies. I guess he's not relevant anymore. Mm -hmm. Which is sad. So, you've watched the movie Silence of the Lambs before, right? Yes. What does Hannibal Lecter say to Clarice when he first sees him? No, oh, that's in that whole dialogue. <laughs> anyway, what does he say? Hello, Clarice. It's good to see you again. He never says in that whole movie, Hello, Clarice. Hmm. Okay. What does he say? He doesn't say it at all. He doesn't... It's good to see you again. That He'll doesn't... say, It's good to see you again. But he never says, Hello, Clarice. Hello, Clarice. It's good to see you again. I ate his kidneys uh... with a side of faba beans, a bit of Kian sauce. Did you know that that was improvised? Yes. It, and it freaked, it freaked the hell out. out of Jodie Foster. It did. It freaked her out. So the, the reaction on her face when she first was, like, when he actually did that on camera is completely genuine. Uh, he, oh anyway. my gosh. Anthony Hopkins is an incredible actor. He did so good in that movie. He did. And he does good in anything I've seen him. Have you ever in seen? every movie. Have you seen? No, you haven't seen Westworld yet, have you? No. He plays, um, he but plays. I haven't a, saved very important character in Westworld and he is phenomenal in it. Uh, a movie with Brad Pitt and Tom... Tom Cruise. Um, I about said Tomothy Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. What is it? Interview with a Vampire? Is that how you remember it? Yeah. It's actually Interview with the, vamp with the Vampire. A lot of people think it's Interview with a Vampire. What did I say? You said Interview with a Vampire. Okay. Uh, and what what is it? It's interview with a vampire. The vampire. The vampire. Okay, so it's not interview with a, a vampire, vampire. It's which a lot of people interview think with it's that one. The vampire. Um, Queen from Snow White mm -hmm. when she looks at the magic mirror. Mm -hmm. What's that quote? Uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Was, I know which one is correct, but that's uh -huh. how I remember it because you've gone through a couple of these with me yep. when you were explaining. What the Mandela effect was, and it's what magic. It it's is. magic mirror on the wall. Yes. Uh, the peanut butter mm -hmm. starts with the letter J. Yes, it's Jif. A lot of people think it's Jiffy. Well, that's what people call it as a nickname, which is silly because it's longer than Jif. And last but not least, the great cereal. The great with cereal. With the two K. I don't eat cereal though. Yeah, you do. Fruit Loops. 
Yeah. How's it spelled? Um, F R. Wait, fruit. It's spelled with two O's with fruit, isn't it? Correct. Okay. I remember it though as F R U I T, fruit. Well, that's because Oops. that's how you. That's how you're supposed to spell. Wait, how did you spell it? F F R U I T. Yeah, that's how you spell fruit. But they don't spell it fruit. And like, a lot of other people think it's that way. They spell it fruit to match loops. So that it looks like loops. Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. Because it's easier. That's the list. It's easier for kids to remember. That's the list I have. So what is this theory about so, the Mandela effect that... what What is the theory that is that causes this Mandela effect? I'm using air quotes right now. There's three theories. Okay. What are the theories? Let's go um, most plausible to most crazy. <laughs> Or are they all crazy? <laughs> They're kind of all far-fetched. Okay. I mean, I think it's really interesting, and there might be a possibility, but, like, that's throwing a dart at a dartboard. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm being loud enough. Okay, I just want to make sure. So, the one theory is a parallel universe. So this theory is about how... This is proof that there are multiple parallel universes. And when you remember one thing so vividly, it's because you are... But it's different than what it is in reality. Mm -hmm. It's because that those two universes are merged and you are from that other universe. Mm -hmm. Before before we go into really these um, explanations, look up that Friends episode real quick. Friends episode? Yeah, the Friends episode. Look up Friends episode Mandela Effect, if you can find it. I'm going to do it in a different one. Okay. Because I distinctly remember I was on a, um internet forum, and we were talking about uh, somebody had posted, or it wasn't an internet forum, it was um, actually 9gag, and someone had posted a, a post about this Friends episode where they were, like, saying, oh, you know, like, you remember this Friends episode that had, like, um, this one thing happening in it that, and... It's like, I, I posted, like, I remember that, too. And it's like, it never happened. Friends, Friends last zone. episode. Friends last episode, Mandela Effect. Okay, what does it say? Uh, da, 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 da. Why don't you open it? Reddit. It's a Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Reddit! Yay! Does anybody ever even use Reddit? Some people do. I don't use Reddit. I, I enjoy some of the crazier parts of Mandela. So... Yeah. It says, okay, so last night I watched the last episode of Friends again because I heard there was a Pearl Jam song in it. Yellow Leadbetter is what it's called. Mm-hmm. The song. I don't think this is the right one, but keep going. But as I watched the episode, I realized that this was never what I remember being the last episode. I remember the episode, but not being the last one. I remember the last one being Monica and Chandler in their new house or a new house with twins, but they only have the twins in the last episode. Mm -hmm. Am I alone or do people remember this? This makes no sense because it couldn't be an earlier episode as the twins are born. So... The so-called last episode, or in the so-called last episode. Okay, I think it was a different one than that. It was like, it was like a Thanksgiving episode or something. And, like, I remember because they were telling it, they were explaining it exactly. I just can't remember what they said. So, but I don't know if any listeners remember that episode that apparently never happened. Um... It's possible that it was the Mandela effect. Yeah, possible. But um, let's go on to the second theory. Maybe if uh, if I find if I find the Friends episode, I'll mention it in the next episode. Alrighty. Uh, the next theory is a virtual world. Okay. So, this theory is about how we are all living in a virtual sim or simulation. Okay. So I with a number code to each individual. A number code. Yes. I get, I get a number. That's nice. So like. Like binary code. Uh huh. So you might be like one zero zero one zero one one zero, and I'm like. Thank you. That's with, so that's so nice of you. That's such a nice. And compliment. I might be one with like an added zero one zero. Oh, so it's, you're so special. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. I think you're pretty special. When information in a, in a good way. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, give me a hug. 